guys, it's Second Chance Stables here. What is up? This is my Schleck Barn Tour for March 2015. So I recently got a couple new horses, so I'm pretty pumped to show you guys those. I hope you guys love this barn tour. I love setting up my barn and showing it off to you all. Sorry if my voice sounds awful. I am in the middle of like the cold slash bronchitis stage and I like cannot stop not I can't not stop coughing, if that makes sense. So, yeah, so I might randomly die at some point in this video, and if I do, I guess you guys won't be able to see it, but it's cool. All right, so uh, for those of you just tuning into my channel, my horses live on four bookshelves, four bookshelves, one bookshelf with four shelves, that's better, um, and they look pretty much like this. They're pretty chill. They know that they're going to die if they step off, so they don't. Um, they're also made of plastic, so I mean, they can't really move, but yeah, so I guess we'll get started. Okay, so this is my entrance right here. It has a welcome sign. It says, Welcome to Second Chance Stables. It has some lovely flowers. Oh, this one's like falling out. Stay. Oh, dropped one. Yeah, guys, you can be like me. Cool. So yeah, it has some nice flowers. I did not totally spill them. And it just has a sign right there. So I guess we'll start back here. So this is our front paddock, and this is where we have some of our horses out. Um, so right now we have our Pershawn mare. This is Eclipse, and this is her full Stormy. And they are just chilling in there. They're really adorable. I love them so much. Um, over here is our like gravel road. Uh, we have Nick, who is like the driver, driver guy. He drives cars. Cause that's what drivers do <laughs> I'm really cool um, and he's I guess he's leaving the barn to go pick something up or he's just never coming back because he hates me but it's cool um, over here we have our border barn um, this is a little cross section this is where you can sort of lead horses out to the main road so there's this little thing here and we have sort of like a hook that'll like hook on to the if I can do it so it'll just hook on um, and you can unhook it to walk into the main road and this is where you can kind of bring horses and people by safely so that they don't get hit by cars because no one wants that. Um, over here we have just some thingies. I don't know what to call them. They're like jump stands but not. <laughs> and we have a shovel which is used for shoveling poop because everyone loves poop. We have one of our stable hands who's headed to the barn to go muck out a stall I suppose. Okay, so this is our border barn. Um, it has sliding doors. All of them do slide. Like, I'll show you. All of them do slide shut. And all of them do slide open. Um, they also have chains on them, so little chain guards. So in our first stall, this is our Arabian mare. This is Snow Angel. She is literally one of my favorite horses. She's so cute and so dainty, and I love her. Um, we have some Arabian halters here for her because she's so fancy. Over here, so um, this is actually, I took a picture of this for my new profile picture, I guess, on YouTube, and I absolutely love it. I think it came out great. You guys should totally check it out. It's also my new favorite, um, whatchamacallit, Instagram thingy. So you guys should follow my Instagram. It's at SC Stables. So yeah. So over here we have our Halflinger mare. This is Avalon and Nate is just leading her out. Um, back here, uh, this is her foal. This is Jubilee. Um, so yeah, the foal and the mare are both exceptionally adorable and I love them. Okay, so moving on. So over here we have our Camargs. So this is Calico, who's the Camarg mare. She is very temperamental and she bucks and kicks and does all this stuff, but we love her anyways. And that is her full diamond. Um, diamond is so much nicer than her mom, but we're not going to tell her that. Um, okay, and this in our last stall back here, we have our Dartmoor Pony Mare. Her name is Arizona. Oh, I just knocked that over. No, it's good. Her name is Arizona. She is freaking adorable. I love her. I pretty much love all of my horses, but I mean, yeah. Um, over here we have uh, the Tennessee Walker Stallion. He is a custom by me. I do have two Tennessee Walkers, 
Um, one of them is the regular, and this is my customized. Uh, his name is Encore, and he's little. He's, I think he's got just he's got two socks, I believe. Can't tell if the back one's a sock. Oh, he's got three socks, and he just has one hoof that I guess there wasn't a sock because he didn't like his foot. Okay. Um. So yeah. So that's basically that. So this is my border barn. So yeah. So I actually really love this barn. It's one of my favorite barns. Um, I think it came out really well, and I'm so pumped with it. So yeah. So moving across this away, uh, we get to our in full barn. But before that, we have our lovely doggy. This is Marley. Uh, Marley has a lime green collar because lime green is cool. Like only cool kids wear that. Um, well, more like dogs. Um, and right over here, we have another stable hand she, uh, who is just grooming slash washing slash whatever. Um, and this is our Frisian mare. This is Moondance. Um, her show name, which is Moondance Alexander, is also the name of a movie. It's like a horse movie, and you guys should totally check it out because it is hilariously amazing, and I love it to bits. So, yeah. So, moving on. Um, this is our mare in full barn. Ugh, I feel like one of these lights these fall down. Oh, yeah, it did fall down. It's so awkward. That's so awkward, it's not sticky anymore. All right, whatever, I'll fix it after this video. Um, this is our mare and full barn. Uh, this is the barn for the mares and the foals, um, basically. Okay, so in our first stall, we have our Appaloosas. This is our Appaloosa mare, Dakota, and this is her foal. Um, her foal's name is River, like River Runs Deep. Um, in our second, we have the Hanoverians. This is Maple and her foal, Jive. Oh, well, actually, it's not her full jive, but they're both Hanoverians, and Lady is somewhere else, so I just stuck her in here. So, yeah. So, I guess kind of her adopted full, in a way. I don't even know. Okay, and back here, we have our Lip is Honors. Uh, the Lip is Honor mayor is Cloud, and her full is Flicka. They're really adorable as well. I have used that word, like, 80 times. Um, whatever. Um, and over here in our weird stall, which kind of looks like that because of spacing, but it works out. We have the Tinkers, and this is our Tinker Mare Memory, and this is the Tinker Full uh, Checkers. And over here we have Karen just offering Memory a carrot. Karen carrot, I don't know. Um, over here, this is originally for our foals, but I guess our Shetland Mare is just in here because she's always running around, and I guess for once she's finally in a stall. So this is what she looks like. She has like the cutest little blanket. I made it for her, and I was like, oh my god, it's so tiny. Um, and this is a little tack area. We have some halters, um, some polo wraps down there, some lead ropes, uh, and our lunging equipment, which someone just threw on top of the, like the grain because they're just inconsiderate. Whatever. Um, and we have some boots, Velcro boots back there. So yeah, so this is my first level. Yeah, so I guess we'll be moving up a level. All right, so this is my second level. It looks like this. Um, yeah, so this is basically where we have most of our lesson horses and where the horses get tacked in our arena. So, I guess we'll start from here. So this is my main barn, and it has six stalls. I also did make this barn as well. And how this barn works is the doors have hinges, and they just open, like so, and then they close. And they have a little, like space over here, like a little indent so that they can stick their heads out for like the ponies and whatnot. So I guess we'll start from here. So this is Moonlight. Her show name is Moonlight Sonata. It is an amazing classical piece. You should totally check it out. It sounds, it's such a nice, like peaceful, calming piece of music. So you guys should check that out. Um, we have some jump standards here, some harness equipment, a bale of hay, and this is our Beagle puppy. This is Shiloh. Um, and I guess Shiloh is like madly in love with Dandy. Uh, this is m my trained pony stallion, I believe, or gelding or whatnot, and he's just tacked up for a lesson, and I guess no one's coming to ride him because no one loves Dandy, even though he's really cute. Okay, and over here we have our Trachner stallion. This is Ricochet, um, or Rico, whatnot. His show name's Ricochet Ryan, and uh, I named him after one of the horses at my barn and one of um, my barn friends who... Like, she is literally 
amazing. I love her. Um, and over here we have just some tack. I guess he's going to get tacked for a lesson later, but who knows. So uh, this is a leather saddle that I've made. It has adjustable stirrups. It comes with stirrup keepers and two straps for the girth. Again, the girth is just chilling down there. And there's a bridle. So yeah. Uh, we have some extra halters because, you know, you can never have enough halters. And over here in this stall, we have our Hanoverian mare. This is the 2013 like, mare, I believe. Um, that is the retired one down there. Uh, and this is Lady. She is pretty swell. She does have a warped leg for some reason. I don't think she came warped, but for some reason it became warped. Um, so she can't really stand like a normal horse. She needs a base, but it's cool. Like, it's not a big deal. Okay, so over here, this is an empty stall for now because Wind Dancer is getting tacked up. So this is Wind Dancer's stall, and this is Wind Dancer. Um, and this is Emily. So Wind Dancer is Emily's horse. Um, Emily has her tack box over there. So, and I guess she's just tacking you up for a lesson. Um, and over here, okay, so this horse was an impulse buy horse. I wasn't really sure how I would think of her. I bought her, and I decided... I was debating whether or not it was actually a good idea, but she came and I fell in love when she arrived. So uh, if you guys don't already have her, I would totally recommend getting the 2013 Lip is on her mare. Uh, her confirmation is good. She looks really nice and she looks good in any discipline. So I think that's really good. So yeah, um, and we have Emily's dog. This is Emily, this is her dog, Toby, and he just follows her around everywhere. So I guess right now he's just looking up at May. Okay, so back here we have a little section for boots and extra halters and uh, some storage. Over here we have dog food for the dogs and this is our collie, collie dog thing, cat, monkey, penguin. Um, this is Lassie, I believe. And over here we have our lip is on our stallion and I guess he's going to get tacked up soon for a lesson as well. It's a pretty busy day today I'd say. Um, okay, so over here we have, uh, this is one of our Hanoverian stallions. He is not the original Hanoverian, this is actually the Hanoverian that came with the wash set. So he came with this entire set, so if you do get that set, you do get a horse. Um, and he has nice, I like him, I just don't, like the shading on his butt is a little weird, but I guess it's alright. And he's just getting tacked up by Sophie. Um, Sophie isn't riding her own horse, and she's riding this horse, so I don't really know what's going on. But he's just tacked in one of my other leather saddles, um, and he has a little breastplate attached because he goes crazy, and the saddle shifts around a lot on him. So yeah, um, and we have a grooming box down there, and an Arabian halter, and whatnot. So over here is our tack room. It is pretty boring. There's just some saddles, some girths, some bridles, and all of that. All that stuff. Over here is pole storage. It is literally where you would just stack in poles when you're bored. Or like when you need them for a lesson. But you know, most people don't put them back, so people just like trip over them and die. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, number one the leading cause of death at second chance tables is people not putting the poles away and people tripping on them and dying. So yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty fun life. All right, so over here we just have some extra jumps. These are like flower themed jumps, so they have little holes for the poles. And they look really nice as decoration as well. And this is our adoption. We have like 50,000 dogs around here. I don't know how I came to have so many dogs. It's really weird, but I have them. So, all right, I guess they can just chill. Um, and this is Ray and she's named after my dog Ray, who's a demon, but I love her. All right, so this is my arena. Um, I really love the setup I have uh, for this barn tour. And a lot of, all of my new horses are in here because I love the arena and I love arena pictures in general. And I love, I just, I don't know, it just looks so good. Okay, so I guess we'll start from here. This is one of my already owned horses. Uh, this is Eliza and she's just leading in Quick Star. I guess she's going to ride him. He has a little like cute black and white theme going on. That's pretty cute. Um, okay, and over here we have Victoria and our Camarg Stallion. Uh, this is Ace, or Ace of Spades. He is just coming back from stall rest, so I guess she's going easy on him. But I guess they're just going to work on some flat work, because you know, flat work is crucial for everything. Okay, and this is one of my newest models. This is the Fell Pony Mare. 
she was also an impulse buy i was buying some nail polish stuff and i looked i was looking through the horse section and i was like oh she's actually really cute so i bought her and i and then after i was like oh do, am i really gonna like her blah 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 like i don't know but she came and i fell in love so she is so friggin tiny but she's so adorable um so this is the pony rider Haha, <laughs> you can't see her missing hand because for some reason her other hand fell off. I don't even know. But yeah, she's so cute and she looks so good in the pony set. Oh my god. Okay, and I guess Megan is giving her a private lesson. This is our newest um, horse. This is Luna and her show name is Luna Lovegood. If you guys are Harry Potter fans, you will know where I got that reference. Um, and this is our little pony rider on her and they're just going over this tiny little baby cross rail. Okay, back here is another new horse. Uh, so exciting. Okay, so I customized him actually. He is the retired thoroughbred stallion. Um, I got him in the trade. Uh, she literally has been amazing. And the fact that she has given me these horses, like I love her so much. Oh my God. Um, but we have Lisa riding. Uh, this is Samson. I named him after the horse I will be leasing soon, Samsonite because he reminded me of him and his show name is Delilah Savior and it's from the story of Samson and Delilah. And over here we just have um, Max, not Max, yeah Max. And he's just sort of giving a lesson. He's like prehistoric, but he still can teach. We have some poles set up here and oh my God, we have another new horse, how exciting. OMG, LOL. Um, so uh, this is our apple, no, this is our quarter horse mare. She's also retired. Her show name is April Showers, and her bar name is April. Um, and she's just getting risen by risen. She's just getting ridden by Isabel. Um, they're basically just checking to see if the horses are sound, making sure that you know they can get their leads, uh, that they're not like green or they don't freak out or anything, which is good. So yeah. So this is my arena. We have a nice little setup going here. And this is the second level, so I guess we'll be moving up. Okay, so this is my third level, and I can actually stand like a normal human being because this is like my height. Uh, so this is what it looks like. So I guess we'll start from here. Over here we have our wash stalls and tack-up area. Uh, right now we have a stable hand leading out Argo, who's in a hackamore and an English saddle, which is a cool combo, I guess. And the quarter sheet, he looks pretty fine. We have some extra tack here. Um, and over here, I guess this is Bella, our Tennessee Walker mare, and she's also getting tacked up. Oh my god, the arena's gonna be like super crowded. There's like 50,000 horses getting tacked up, and like it's already full. Whatever. Looks really cool from this angle, actually. I like it. Hee hee hee. Okay. Um, <laughs> so weird. Alright, and this is Bull. This is not a Schleich horse because he is literally the size of a Schleich horse. Like, do you see that? That is just weird. But it's okay, because we don't hate. We love him. Uh, we have extra tack on here. This is the first saddle I ever made. And I keep it around because it's just adorable. It has, like, such sentimental memories. Like, looking back at it, it's I could improve so much. <laughs> but it's good to have. So this is one of my old saddles. And this is one of the saddles I have now. So, yeah. So I think you can all... There's always room for improvement. So I always push myself to improve more. So we have some extra bridles, uh, some saddle pads and whatnot. Uh, over here we have the big and the tiny. So this is General, he's our Lusitano Stallion. And this is our little witty tiny baby. This is Arrow and he's the Falabella Stallion and they just look so cute. Um, okay, over here we have Lucy. Lucy is actually Sofei's horse. That's Sofei, so I guess Sofei's too busy caring about um, I don't think I even told you this horse's name, but this horse is Jazz. So yeah, so she's too busy caring about Jazz to care about her own horse. But um, what's her face? Lucy has this really cool like light blue theme going on. So everything's light blue. And this is a grooming box for her. Ooh, focus. There we go. And there's some extra tack. Over here is Bamboo and he's just getting let out for a lesson. So, um, uh, what I learned is you can make any Schleich blanket into a quarter sheet. So all you do is you just kind of fold alongside where the Velcro parts would be, but you leave the top part like that. So it has this shape to it and it works out pretty well. It 
especially works for the blue one because it's so much thinner and it's really cute. So I guess bamboo is just getting let out for a lesson. Over here we have our Andalusians. This is our Andalusian mare. This is Amethyst. And back there is her foal. Um, her foal does not have a name yet. I'm still deba debating, debate, I literally cannot talk, debating. Um, okay, I just noticed that like a lot of things have fallen over in my barn and I don't know like what knocked into it. That's really weird. <laughs> Sorry, off topic. But over here we have, this is our puppy. This is Dexter and I guess he's just trying to like sneak his way in there, but yeah. Uh, we have a bale of hay and some grains for Amethyst because she's starving because she's a new mom. Uh, we have another saddle here. Um, over here we have a horse that was tacked and then just left. So this is Dude, and I don't know why, but I guess he's tacked. Someone tacked him up, and then they just left him here. I'm sorry, Dude. <laughs> That's awkward, Ox. Um, but this is one of my white saddles. Uh, the seat on this one is a little bit weird because it isn't raised, but I really like the white leather, so it also has two straps. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, well, hopefully someone comes back for him. And over here, this is the vet, and he's sort of, he's checking out King because King has injured his leg, and he's still on stall rest, so he's just making sure everything's okay, and there aren't any, like, new problems. So yeah, and I guess he's just gonna rewrap him and wash out his thing, or like, try to, um, decrease the inflammation. We had a bio test today and it was on like the inflammatory system, uh, like the inflammatory response in the immune system. So like, I'm on my game for that. So if you guys ever need help with like the immune system, message me. <laughs> okay, and over here we have our pony stalls. Um, and in this stall we have our Fjord Stallion. This is Nike. And there's just a grooming box and some um, leg wraps out here. These are also sliding door stalls like so, they slide. Um, and then this doll, <laughs> he's not a pony, but I guess he's just in here anyway. This is our Andalusian Stallion Silver. He, he's just chilling. He has a nice little blanket going on. Um, yeah, and over here, I guess these two are just going out for a hack. So this leads out to the trails. So we have our Nab Stripper Stallion who looks absolutely adorable in Western tech. I didn't know that, but um, uh, this is him and he's just tacked up in my western saddle and a bridle that I made uh, and the bridle is just held on by this like weird orange sticky wax but you know it does his job um, her feet don't reach the stirrups awkward because I made them to fit him and he has longer legs than her but it's cool uh, and over here we have our second Tennessee Walker stallion this is trickster he is one he's the first horse that I ever got so yeah, and I guess Max is just gonna ride him bareback. Wait, if your name is Max, then what's his name? Oh my god, does he not have a name? Let's name him Peter. His name's Peter from now on. I'm not gonna remember that, and like next time I'm gonna give him like a name called like Eduardo or something, I don't even know. Um, okay, so funny story about this bridle. Uh, this is actually the Schleich bridle, um, but I broke the noseband of this, and then I decided that makes no sense. I thought Western bridles weren't supposed to have noseband. I'm, uh, I know some Western bridles that do, but they look better. They look more Western-y, I guess, like the classical Western style without the noseband. So I just cut off the top part, and the form is actually, it's still shaped to the horse's face. It's not flapping around everywhere. So yeah, so I guess I improved and it worked out pretty well. And we have some extra jumps and some extra feed in here. So we have like happy hoof. Um, so this is like the Spillers brand. If you guys want to know how to make these, you can search up model horse uh, feedbacks. And there is an excellent tutorial on by uh, a user I can't remember, but that's how I learned to make mine. So yeah, so this is this level and we are going up to our final level. All right, so this is my toppity level. Toppity, yes. So I guess we'll start from here. So uh, not much is going on here. This is usually where we have trailers and parking. And I guess the trailer is being cleaned out right now. And this is our golden retriever, Sire. He's just guarding the trailer, I suppose. Um, there's nothing in there, it's pretty empty. Over here we have our rabbits, which are really cute. And I guess our rabbits are also being watched by our Dalmatian. 
This is Oreo, this is Thumper back there, the gray one is Poncho, and the brown one is uh, Coco. So yeah, they're like, two of them are named after food because when I got them I was really hungry and I was like, hi, it looks like an Oreo. I wonder if I can eat it. No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm not that mean. Okay, and over here, rocking this pink blanket because pink is a very manly color. We have Dante. This is our Pershawn Stallion. Um, we have our grooming box just here and a little stalker. And over here, we have our little tiny dart mar pony stallion, who is the absolute cutest thing. I love him two bits. Um, this is Teddy, and Teddy is just getting a little pet from one of our stable hands. He's so cute. And this is just a food bucket, and it says SCS, which is Second Chance Staples. And in here, we have um, we have our boys in here today. Like The girls have been in this big pasture so many times, so I decided to switch it up. We have a little fight going on because our horses just love to pick fights. So this is um, Ireland, this is our Shire Stallion, and he's like charging at our Mustang, and I don't even know what's going on, whatever. But this is Diablo, <laughs> he's cool. Um, they're, they're both loco, they're both crazy, but we love him, don't worry. Back there in the Ladybug Blanket, which, okay, they have different patterns of felt at my craft store, they're adding new patterns, and I love them all, like this Ladybug one, I want to make so many blankets from it. I'm gonna make a ladybug saddle out of it, like, oh my god. Um, and this is Colorado, and this is our Frisian stallion, and his name is Mystery. And over here, we just have some jumps. They actually serve well for, like, decoration, because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. But yeah, so I guess we'll open this. Uh, in there, we have our Arabian stallion, who has been customized by uh, a viewer of mine, and then I touched up on him a little. Uh, that's Prince. And over here, we have Cody who is our Halflinger Gelding. And over here, um, we have our two yearlings. So the black one in the back is Forest, and this one is Victory, and then we have our Calf and our Piglet. And up here, I think you guys will be able to see, there is like blanket storage and some hay. So yeah, I can't reach that tall because I'm short, but yeah. So this is my barn tour for this month. I hope you guys love it. Uh, an episode of Second Chances will be coming out during spring break. I am working on it, do not worry. Episode five will be out. Um, spring break is approximately like the first and second-ish week of April or the second-ish week, I'll let you guys know. But I will have an episode out because I know a bunch of you have been dying to see it, so I can't disappoint my subbies. So tell me what you thought of my barn tour, tell me what you think of my barns, my horses, tell me if you think I'm funny or not because I think I'm a comedian. Actually, no, like my jokes are so bad. Like, I'll be like, knock, knock, and they'll be like, who's there? And I'll be like, uh, no one. Haha, -ha, so funny. Yeah, no. Um, Alright, so if you guys like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. See you next time. Bye-bye.